Welcome to today's quick yoga drills class. This one is designed to strengthen your arms, shoulders and core and is ideal for those who are looking to advance their practice and start incorporating more arm balances and inversions. It should help you develop the upper body strength, core stability and the hip and lower back flexibility that's required to safely practice these more advanced asanas. We're going to begin with a quick warm up. Begin standing at the top of your mat. Bring your feet hips distance apart. Stand up tall. Pelvis is neutral. Interlace your fingers and inhale as you press your palms up to the sky. Exhale, lean over to your right, stretching the side body. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, lean over to your left. Breathe here. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach back up, palms touch. Exhale, add a generous bend to your knees as you fold from your hips. Ragdoll. Let your upper body hang heavy. Take opposite elbow in opposite hand. Maybe add a gentle sway from side to side. You can shake your head no. Nod your head yes. And then return to center. Slowly roll all the way up to standing, head comes up last. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Maybe take a moment here to circle out each wrist, moving in both directions. And then find your Tadasana. Big toes touch, heels are apart. Relax your arms by your sides with your palms facing forward. We're going to take five rounds of Surya Namaskar A. This is a great way to warm up the body and strengthen the shoulders and core. We'll begin with a modified version and we'll also take our time holding our planks and taking slow chaturangas in order to really feel the benefits. Inhale, reach up to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, fold from your hips, Uttanasana. Bend your knees as much as you like. Inhale to a flat back, Ard Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Hold here for four rounds of breath, keeping everything engaged. Draw your navel in towards your spine. On your next exhale, keep your elbows tucked in and slowly lower down to your knees, chest, chin. Inhale for cobra, elbows are bent, legs are active. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Legs can be bent or straight. Press your mat away from you, lengthening your spine, creating lots of space between your vertebrae. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach back up, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plan your hands and step back to plank. Shoulders over wrists. Hold here for four breaths. Focus on your form. On your next exhale, slowly lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Come 
come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Take four breaths here. Keep your hips down. Exhale, take a slow chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take four breaths. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Take four breaths here. On your next exhale, slowly lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take four breaths here. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart. One more round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Hold here, keep your breath steady. On your next exhale, slowly lower to Chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take four breaths here. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees and look up. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing, reach up tall. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's find Utkatasana chair pose. This is a beautiful but sometimes challenging asana that can help to strengthen the core, back, shoulders, as well as your lower body. On an inhale, bend your knees, sink your hips and reach your arms up to the sky. Your weight is back in your heels. We're going to hold here for about 30 seconds. Try and elongate the spine, soften your shoulders 
and keep your awareness on your breath. On your next exhale, fold forward for Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Option to take a vinyasa will meet in downward facing dog. Push your mat away from you. Reach your tailbone up and back. Spine is long. Knees can be bent or straight. We're going to be holding here for about a minute and it's our last asana before we take a little break in child's pose so try and breathe through it. Navel is drawn in towards your spine, firm your shoulder blades into your back, keep your neck nice and relaxed as you gaze between your knees or your ankles. Just a couple more breaths. On your next exhale, lower down to your knees and then sink your hips back to your heels for child's pose. Arms could be extended or by your sides with the palms facing up. Rest your chest and forehead down. Breathe deeply in and out of your nose. On your next inhale, roll up to tabletop and then find your elbow plank. You can have your forearms parallel with the fingers lightly spread, grounding down, or feel free to interlace your fingers or bring your hands to prayer if that feels better. Core is engaged, legs are active. Slowly walk your feet in, lifting the tailbone until you find the best spot for your body today. We're going to hold here for about a minute again, really strengthening the upper body, broaden your chest and shoulders and press your forearms firmly into your mat. It's important to keep the spine long here. If you feel that you're rounding, you can try bending your knees. This is a great pose in preparation for headstand and pincher. Remember to breathe. On your next exhale, lower down to your knees and sink back to your child's pose. Again, your arms can be extended or you can rest them by your sides. Take a few rounds of breath here. Inhale as you roll back up to tabletop and then find your elbow plank. Inhale here and then exhale, slowly press your forearms into your mat and lift your tailbone for a wider variation of dolphin. Inhale as you lower back down to plank. Exhale, dolphin. We're going to do this 10 times Inhale, plank, keep this movement slow and controlled. 
Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, plank. And exhale. Seven, keep going. Six. Five. Move with the breath. Three. Two. One. Now hold here in your forearm plank. Keep everything engaged. Keep breathing, keep holding. Three, two, one. Lower down to your knees and sink back to child's pose. Just relax and breathe. On your next inhale, roll up to tabletop and find your high plank this time. Check your alignment, shoulders over wrists, keep your hips down, engage your core. Inhale as you bring your right knee to elbow, exhale step back to plank. Inhale left knee to elbow, exhale step back to plank. Right knee left knee. Eight more times each side. Seven. Six. Keep the breath steady. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Hold here for four breaths. On your next inhale, roll through to high plank. This time we're going to do alternate leg lifts. Try to keep your body as still as possible and your hips parallel to your mat. Raise your right leg and then your left. Right, left. Eight more times each side. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're now going to work on stretching and creating space in the hips and lower back. First with our pigeon pose. On an inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right thumb. Left leg extends out behind you. Try to keep your hips square and you can adjust the angle of your front shin 
finding the best amount of sensation. Keep length in the spine. There's the option to stay here or inhale, grow taller. Exhale, fold forward, resting on your hands, forearms, or folding all the way down to your mat. Use your exhales to soften your entire body from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. On your next inhale, slowly lift your upper body and then exhale, return to your downward facing dog. Maybe walk it out on the spot for a moment, bringing back the circulation. Let's repeat on the other side. Inhale as you reach your left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee to your thumb. Right leg extends behind you. Keep your hips parallel, spine is long. And again, there's the option to stay here or inhale, grow taller. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your awareness to your breath. On your next inhale, slowly rise back up and then exhale, return to downward facing dog. Maybe walk it out again if that feels good. And then walk your feet forward to the top of your mat and find your Molossana. Heels are about hips distance apart, point your toes slightly out and then sink your hips down for a deep squat. Hands come to prayer. You can use your elbows to apply some gentle pressure to the inside of your knees, opening the hips. Extend out of your lower back, reaching the crown of your head up and keep your chest open. Carefully lower all the way down and make your head seated in the center of your mat. Our final asana for our core is boat pose, navasana. Bend your knees with your feet planted. Extend your arms out in front of you. Draw your navel in. And then slowly lift one foot off the ground and then the other. Try to keep your spine long. Engage your core, and for more of a challenge, maybe try extending both legs up to the sky, balancing on your sit bones. Hold here for a few breaths. Now with control, lower one foot down, and then the other. Let's find our butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to fall away from one another towards the ground. Adjust the amount of sensation by moving your heels closer to your body or further away. Maybe stay here, seated upright. Or to deepen the stretch, you can fold forward from your hips on an exhale.
Just a couple more breaths here. On your next inhale, slowly rise back up to seated. Bend your knees, plant your feet down. And then windscreen wiper them from side to side, letting go of any remaining tension. Now find any comfortable seated position, maybe cross-legged in Sukhasana or on your knees. Inhale, reach up to the sky, palms touch. Exhale, twist to your right. Left hand comes to your right knee, right hand plants behind you, gaze back. Inhale, return to centre, reach up. Exhale, twist to your left. Right hand to left knee. Left hand plants behind you. Gaze back. Inhale, return to centre. Reach up as tall as you can. Exhale, hands to heart. I hope you found today's class useful. If you're looking to start including some more advanced inversions and arm balances into your practice, I'd advise you first do so with one-on-one -on -one support from a teacher. But in the meantime, please feel free to come back to this practice to help build your foundations and the necessary core and upper body strength. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time.